In March 2011, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear facility was struck by a massive earthquake and a tsunami that overwhelmed the site and its emergency systems. Since that event, the U.S. nuclear industry has changed its readiness approach for an extreme natural disaster. That solution is called FLEX. FLEX is a $4 billion industry effort to further strengthen U.S. nuclear facilities against natural disasters. The uniqueness of this strategy is that portable backup equipment designed to supplement a site's existing equipment can be deployed at a moment's notice. The FLEX strategy uses the plant's installed backup equipment, on-site portable backup equipment, and additional off-site backup equipment which can be in place at any nuclear facility across the United States within 24 hours. That's an extraordinary turnaround. Flex adds yet another layer of protection to our plants. Exelon sites are well prepared for an extreme event and what you'll see in this video is that Flex strategy at work. It is a well orchestrated plan involving a nuclear site, industry agencies and national response centers. We are committed to operating our plants safely and to protecting the public, the communities and our employees. Hi, this is Mike on Unit 1. We've had a loss of off-site power and our diesels have failed to start. Within seconds, operators initiate their emergency plan. Every six weeks, they simulate situations like this and are well prepared for the real thing. In the unlikely event that power is lost, the plant's reactors shut down as they are designed to do. Exelon plants have a minimum of two backup diesel generators, which would start automatically to provide power. If all of those generators fail to start, then a multitude of backup batteries would kick in to provide power. We have equipment that is always on standby and is always ready to 100% cover the core if necessary. If something fails, then our flex strategy provides a backup to the backup. The flex strategy starts when there is an extended loss of power to the plant and all of the plant's backup generators fail to start. All right, due to the extended loss of off-site power, we're going to implement the flex strategies. Plant operators inform the company emergency coordinators that the flex strategy has started. They also contact industry organizations to get extra equipment from other nuclear plants. Emergency coordinators then contact SAFER, the control center for the industry's two national response centers in Memphis, Tennessee and Phoenix, Arizona, which send even more equipment as backup. These centers are football field size warehouses that store additional flex equipment for the nation's nuclear plants that can be dispatched at a moment's notice. Timing is extremely critical. We have to have the first piece of equipment on site and connected to the plant and operating within 24 hours. Trucks arrive to pick up preloaded equipment trailers. From here, the equipment travels to the affected site. We want to have our first trailer on the road by three hours for sure. Meanwhile, operators at the plant are already in motion. Each plant has its own flex building and backup equipment. The building's rebar reinforced concrete walls are nearly two feet thick and the doors are covered with Kevlar, all of which protect the equipment inside from anything Mother Nature might throw at it. Equipment is mounted on trailers for easy transport. Backup equipment here and at the safer warehouse includes pumps that can fill a backyard swimming pool in five minutes, about a quarter mile of industrial grade fire hoses to carry water to the reactor, huge generators that can power plant safety equipment, and lights that can illuminate five acres. These pumps and generators use standard connectors so they can easily hook up to any external flex equipment brought to the site. We bring our equipment out of here and we have uh, pre-planned routes throughout the site and the routes are based on speed, ability to get around fallen debris. Inside the plant, operators monitor the reactor, plant systems and conditions. Equipment is continually checked. They make sure the reactor and used fuel pools are being adequately cooled. Back at the response center, the first of the backup flex equipment begins to leave the warehouse. Meanwhile, all plant equipment is moved into place, hooked up, and is operational within eight hours. And then it all becomes a, 
uh, the communication with those off-site facilities, making sure that that equipment is arriving and we understand when it's getting here so that we can uh, phase in the longer-term equipment and uh, phase out our initial flex equipment response. The flex equipment from the response center begins to arrive at a staging area. Every piece of equipment has to be below 8,000 pounds so that once it gets to a staging area, if there's no way they can get to the plant by road, they can be airlifted by a helicopter. Operators continue their actions as more portable flex equipment arrives and is staged. Everyone locally and across the country is on notice until the emergency is over. The flex equipment can keep the plant safe indefinitely. The goal is to get power restored to the plant as, as quickly and efficiently as possible. We've done the homework, we've done the logistics, we've done the coordination at the federal level, and we are very prepared. We want folks to know that uh, we're properly dealing with the situation at hand and that the plant is safe and the public is safe. No doubts whatsoever.